As the weather gets colder and colder, a lot of us tend to gain weight. We become larger and larger. Our waistlines expand slowly and slowly, but that does not have to be the case. In today's show, I'm gonna be sharing with you amazing recipes that are pocket friendly, are friendly to your waistline, and recipes that I promise you, you're gonna enjoy and your family's gonna enjoy. Now, the recipes that I share with you, I'm using locally available ingredients that are affordable, easy to get, and absolutely nutritious for you. So come on, join me in the kitchen as I share these recipes that you can enjoy as the weather is getting colder and colder. Let's go. Our first soup is going to be a zucchini soup or a courgette soup. Now courgettes or zucchini are these beautifully looking vegetables that we can find in our local supermarkets. That's our first ingredient. Second, onions. Third, get a little bit of ginger, a little bit of garlic. These two are anti-inflammatory, they're really good for our health. You can use some oil, either some coconut oil or you can use some olive oil. And then we're gonna garnish that with salt and pepper. Now, as you can see, those are the only ingredients that you're gonna need to make your soup work. So the first thing we're gonna do is I want you guys to grab six zucchinis or six courgette. And what I want you to do is just slice them up any way that works best for you. And this is going to help the zucchini just cook a little bit faster by slicing them up. Some people can cube them. So if you wanna make them into cubes, again, you're more than welcome to do that. So there's, it's not set in stone as to how you should actually cut this. So for me, I've actually sliced mine. And these, so I want you guys to get six zucchinis. That would be good for a family of four. So here I've sliced all my zucchinis, as you can see, or my courgette. We've got our onions that we've sliced. We're gonna use about a cup of onions and we're gonna use about half a cup, I'm sorry, not half a cup, a quarter a cup of oil. So let's come and show, and let me show you how to cook this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn on our stove, put your oil, your oil in here. So for me, I like coconut oil, so that's what I'm gonna be using. And then now remember, we can use onions, all types of onions. There's chives, there's purple onions, there's leeks, uh, green onions, spring onions. So whatever works for you, just feel free to use that. So for this one, um, we're gonna use the leeks. And I like to use a lot of them because it tends to bring out a lot of flavor. So either two small leeks or one really big leek. And then what I'm gonna do is just let these onions cook for about four minutes so that the flavors of the onions really spill out. Or if you have leeks, let those flavors also just really spill out. So we're gonna do this for four minutes. As soon as our four minutes are done, we're then going to add our zucchini or our courgette um, to this mixture right over here. So we're gonna add four cloves of ginger that have been chopped up. And I, for a little bit of zing, I like to add a little bit of, um, sorry, that was garlic, that we added four cloves of garlic and then a little bit of ginger to just bring those flavors in together. Stir that up. I don't like for my ginger to cook too much because if it, if it burns, um, you're actually going to be able to taste ginger because it, it's a very strong, it has a very strong taste. So if it burns, it, you're actually going to taste that uh, burnt flavor in your food and you don't want to do that. Then we're going to add all our zucchinis or our courgette in this mix. And now what I like to do is once I add them is really combine these flavors in so that the onions, the ginger, the garlic can all, the flavors can all just marry together. Now, and as you can see, and if you can see that, 
you have the green from your courgette then you have your onions you have your garlic your ginger it actually smells absolutely divine in here and again I've said these are locally available ingredients that are not that are pocket friendly now we're gonna let that cook for about eight four minutes I'm sorry we'll let that cook for four minutes in here as I keep stirring it in then I'm going to add about four cups of water because now the water is what's gonna help us make that soup we're gonna add our water we're gonna add our salt our pepper we're gonna saute that and let that sit in for about 10 minutes and then we are gonna blend this soup so this is gonna cook for the next um, two more minutes of me stirring this now you can either use a measuring cup for four cups or whatever measuring cup you have I eyeball mine because I kind of this is a soup I make on a regular basis nice then we're gonna add our salt and pepper to season and a little bit of pepper and then we're just gonna let that cook in next what we're gonna do I, I always like to taste my soup just to feel whether the water that I just put in just to feel whether it need it needs a, a little bit more seasoning or not and I feel like I need a little bit more salt so I'm just gonna add a little bit of salt in here And then what's gonna happen you guys is let it boil for about one minute once it boils for a minute we're gonna reduce the heat we're gonna let that simmer for about 10 minutes or so and so now since already it's boiling I am gonna cover that and I am going to simmer just reduce that heat and let it cook for 10 minutes so we'll be back in 10 minutes so after 10 minutes our soups cooked so turn off your stove and then what I want us to do next is we're gonna blend it but it's so important and this is vital don't blend your soup when it's super super hot so wait for it at least to cool down a little bit because what's gonna happen is the lid could blow off and it could burst on your face so it's so important for you to ensure that your soup cools down and it's not as hot so we're gonna wait for that to cool down for a couple of minutes as soon as it's cooled down we're gonna add it on into our blender and voila, our soup's done. So I'm just gonna add my soup in here. We're gonna close this blender. And we're gonna blend our soup. Seriously, how easy is that? Um, if you want to look, it takes about, depending on the blender that you have, you can take a minute, you can take two minutes or 30 seconds with your blender. Uh, just because I want to really make sure everything's broken down, we're just going to blend it a little bit more. Now, because it's hot, this is one of the things that happens. The steam gets trapped in there. So again, be careful. As you can hear, did you hear that um, noise that the... That, uh, blender made that's very typical so just open it up gently and keep blending your soup oh yum 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 well that looks so good and so here is our soup so when it comes to serving um, this is what I say you want to make sure you serve your soup hot remember this is a soup that I, I love especially during the cold weather so serve it when it's hot and what I also love to do is when you serve your soup, so one ladle should be good. Here you go. So once you serve that, I love to garnish it with cilantro or dania. So you can just cut a few of the leaves, throw them on top as garnish. And again cilantro again if you love parsley uh, if you love thyme whatever you love you can throw that garnish on top just to give them or to give your soup a different flavor 
there we go and again because we're looking for something that's waist friendly pocket friendly and health friendly i love adding some nuts now nuts are great because they have amazing fat so i'm gonna add some cashews in here and they're so good with that crunch there you go and i'm gonna have my friend taste test this for me and let me know whether this soup is something she can add into her menu so now that i've made the soup i need some honest feedback from a friend of mine that gives me generally honest feedback so linda i want you to try this soup and let me know whether this is something you can actually incorporate as part of your menu it's absolutely absolutely brilliant Thanks so much, Linda, for that feedback. Now, you guys, I'd love for you to try this soup at home and share with me your comments below. And please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel, our Treasure Fitness, Instagram at treasure.fitness, like our page on Facebook at Treasure Fitness. And remember, you've got one life, you've got one body, so treasure it. That's right.